Hello everyone and welcome back to another Symfony tutorial. Today's request comes from our Facebook community and the question is how do we set up barcodes in Micro Symfony? If you have any questions about the system, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I will read them and answer them for you or feel free to join our fantastic Facebook community where you can interact with myself and other fellow hospitality enthusiasts from all around the world. It's open and free for everybody to join and I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So let's talk about barcodes. Barcodes is one of those things that we see a lot of use in retail environments, but not in restaurants as much. But if you do have a small gift shop with retail items that have a barcode on them, by installing a USB barcode reader at the workstation will be the fastest way to ring up those items. So let's jump into EMC and take a look at how we would program them. And really quick, I wanted to remind you guys about our online learning platform. You can find training and support for Micro Symphony at simsupport.online. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and a coupon code as a special thank you. And with that, let's get back to the video. Okay, so here we are in EMC and we can find the barcodes module here under the configuration tab under menu items and barcodes. Now, before we jump into the barcodes module, there's a couple of other things we need to check. So at the enterprise level, I'm going to go ahead and click on roles. So I'm going to open my manager role here and under operations, I'm going to open up PMC procedures. Now, if you scroll down on the first item here, we have the last three view barcodes, edit barcodes and edit original barcodes. Now we will control most of our barcodes through the back office here in EMC, but this is gonna be, it's gonna allow the managers to also control them through the front office. Now I wouldn't add all my barcodes through the workstation, but it's good for them to have it just in case they need to make a small change. So make sure that your managers, general manager, super role have all of these options and probably the bartender and server don't need to use it. So as soon as you check that, we can go ahead and click roles. And I'm also gonna go to the setup tab. Now, the thing that we want to check is this one is a barcode format set. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And when I open it, this is what I have for my format set. Now, depending on the type of uh, barcode scanner that you use, you might need to input a different format set. If you just use a standard Oracle hospitality one, then just go ahead and copy everything that I have here. And now that we're done with setting that up, we can go ahead and open the barcodes module. And I will open mine here at the enterprise level, but barcodes are available also at the property and revenue center level. So if you only want to add them here and it doesn't mess around with anything else in the enterprise, you can order uh, add them further down. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this and I don't have any barcodes here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding records and we're going to link the barcode number to a menu item master. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go to the home screen and open up my menu item maintenance. I'm going to click a quick search to populate my database. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at some retail items. So I'm going to click control F for find. I'm going to select name. If you don't want to use the shortcut, you can just use the binoculars here at the top. And I'm going to look for retail. So I'm going to take a look at my retail area and it's all the way here at the end in the 600,000 section. And what I want to do is I want to actually have these kind of side by side. So what I'm going to do is right click on this and click new vertical tab group so I can have my barcodes on the left and my menu items on the right. Now, this is totally optional, but I do like to add when I add my barcodes, keep up with the same record number that the retail items have and that's going to keep the database very well organized. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my barcodes here. Go ahead and click insert. So I'm inserting a new record and I'm going to select the range and then the object number will be 60001. So that's going to be the same as this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now I have my barcode here at this position number, which is the same as my retail keychain. And what I'm going to do is click the ellipsis here and then I can either enter the object number 60001 or you can search by number there and I'm going to select my keychain. And then here in the barcode area is where we would add the barcode. Now, ideally, you would have the USB scanner connected to your laptop and you can just scan like if you click on the field here, erase the zero and then you would just scan the barcode with your scanner then it will just populate the barcode automatically. So for me, I'm just using as a test. So I'm going to hit one, two, three 
for this one and then I can go ahead and save. Now, if there are multiple definitions here, you can select the one you want and it's the same for multiple price records. And then we're going to add another one. So I'm going to click insert. I'm going to tell it to go after this position because I'm going to add my small mug. And then I can even use this one as a template and then go ahead and click OK. So now when I click on this one, I'm going to select my small mug. And then this one will be four, five, six. And again, this will be actual the barcode scanning off of the product itself. I'm only doing one, two, three and four, five, six as a test just to kind of show you. So our barcodes are entered here. And if you want to enter a lot more than that at a time, what you can do is here in the record number, you can actually enter however many items you want. So for example, if you want to add between 60003 and 60009, then you can add seven records at a time. You don't have to add them one by one. If I do this, then it's going to populate a whole bunch of records for me, and then I can add them all together. That just speeds up the process a little bit, especially if you have a lot of barcodes to add. But I'm going to delete these for now. So I just have my barcode here, one, two, three, and four, five, six. And now I can go ahead and move this one back. So I have my full screen again. And what we need to do is we also need to add a button in page design. So I'm going to go ahead and click page design, open it up. I'm going to open my transaction screen, change my aspect ratio to 16 to nine. I'm going to find one of the buttons. We can use this special discount and we're going to use a function. And then here I'm going to type in barcodes. So we have barcode entry used to manually enter a barcode. So I'm also going to generate legend to have this as barcode entry. And the reason why I'm adding this button here, it's not going to be necessary to push the button before we scan the item. We can just scan them right in. But you know how it happens. Sometimes the items just don't want to scan. Maybe the barcode is a little torn or something's wrong with it. So you always want some kind of manual entry necessary if the barcode doesn't want to scan. So that's why I added this here. It's also going to help us to test out our barcodes. So now that we have page design set up, our roles, barcodes, barcode format sets, everything is ready to go. So let's go to the workstation and test it out. And here we are at the workstation. The first thing I'm going to do is click a quick update just to make sure my changes come through. And I'm going to begin a fast transaction here. And we do have our barcode entry button. And again, if you have a barcode scanner attached to it, you don't have to push the button. You can just go ahead and start scanning. That will work just fine. But for me, since I don't have one, I'm just going to manually enter one of those barcodes that we entered there. And I enter one, two, three, and then I click OK. So my keychain got added and then I can order the other one as well. That was four, five, six. And there it is, my small mug. So that is how you would enter and define our barcodes. If you have any other questions about barcodes, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you didn't do that already. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.